after the, the Congress that was organized in the United Nations, that some countries, key countries like China and now recently Indonesia, they have announced their, their kind of a targets. Not very in quantitative terms, but anyway, their willingness to, to start reducing the emissions. And now it's a question of, can these countries come together and agree on something global? There are many barriers, I mean, they are different depending on the country. I mean, for instance, in the U.S. situation, I think it's a barrier, it's a internal politics. I mean, how much can Obama administration convince his own party and, and, and industrial lobbies to really to go into the low carbon pathway? And then there are so many other barriers. How can we convince the India, uh, people from India and China to take the low carbon pathway and, and, and not go for, let's say, only for the development object? Forests are quite well in the negotiation because, to be honest, there it is not the major thing. It's a minor thing in this whole complex situation of, let's say, countries agreeing and so on and so on. I think that we have to make only make sure that the forests are part of the deal and, and they, are, they, they are part of the mechanisms that developing countries, for instance in the case of RED, can take in order to go into this low carbon pathway. It took about four years after signing the Kyoto until we got the, the rules of the game for the CDM. And I think that it might be something similar, that we agree in Copenhagen on a very broad framework that, you know, forests will be included, and then the process, the real work starts of getting the rules. If we don't start doing real things in order to protect forests, we will lose them very soon. And on the other hand, in order for forests to play a role in climate change, we have to do it now when the forests still are there. We cannot wait 20 or 40 years more, I mean, doing the same destructive uh, the things that we have done, because forests won't be there anymore in 40 years from now.